you can see this image does not have any any highlight again it's looking flat like this so before and after so to avoid that make sure you are brushing your highlight separately and make sure you are brushing your shadows separately what's up guys welcome back to another amazing video and in this video i'm going to be showing you guys how to retouch an image using focus separation and i'm going to be explaining every details you need to take note of so i've already um removed the blemishes for this image and if you want to know how to remove blemishes on your image i made a video about that and i'll be leaving a link to that video in the description below so this is how i put this image to photoshop so you can see i've removed the blemishes so this is the before and this is the after so right now after removing my blemishes i'm going to just run my focus separation action and i'm using this retouching academy focus separation via gaussian block so if you don't have this retouching academy you can use any uh focus separation action which you have and it's the same thing it's going to work for you so i'll just click on my focus separation via gaussian blur and um also if you want to know how to get the right blur radius i have a video for that i'll be leaving the link to that video as well in the description below so for this um, image i'm just going to be using a focus separation blur radius of 11 and click on ok so after that i'll just come to this my layer tab right here so let me quickly explain this if you are um, using focus separation to retouch your image make sure if you want to use your mixer brush settings to mix the colors on your image make sure you are not working on your high frequency make sure you are working on your low frequency because the high frequency consists of textures while the low frequency consists of um colors so if i just pick my mesa brush right now and um, i start brushing on my high texture copy like this you can see what's happening to the image it's not making the image look good at all so i'm just going to undo that by clicking on ctrl z to undo so after doing that um once I pick my mixer brush, so this is my mixer brush right here. And let me quickly show you my mixer brush settings. I'm using a soft round brush. I'm using a clean brush. And this place right here is checked. If you have this other one checked, make sure this one is unchecked. And make sure this place is checked. And I'm on custom. And uh, my weight is on 10. My load is on 30. My mix is on 20. My flow is on 30. And this one right here is on 10% and then sample earlier is checked so you can pause this video and check my mixer brush settings up here and as well if you come to this your um brush settings right here you can see um only smoothing right here is checked so you can choose to check it or uncheck it it doesn't really have any effect but i like leaving my smoothing right here checked so if you want to come to these settings all you have to do is click on this um brush to right here or you come to windows and you come to brushes so you can see brush settings right here so i'm just going to undo that so since we've gotten that out of the way i'm just going to come to my layer tab again and make sure my um corrective tone is checked that is if you are using this um retouching academy for separation if you want to brush make sure your corrective tone is selected but if you're not using this for separation make sure your low frequency is selected and then i'm just going to turn off this high texture copy right here so i click on this eye icon right here to turn it off so once i turn it off i'm going to get a blurry looking image like this which means i've gotten rid of all the textures and what i'm seeing right now on the screen is my colors so i'm just going to be mixing my colors to make sure they are looking even and smooth and um remember you don't have to make your image look flat or too smooth that's why i use the high frequency separation blur radius once i turn off my high texture copy right now i'm going to have a blurry image like this so another tip you should know is um you should always brush your highlight separately and your shadows separately because um highlight and shadows are what makes a good image so if i just brush my shadows in so into my highlight like this so i'm just going to show you how flat this image is going to look right now if i just brush anyhow like brushing my shadows into my highlights and brushing my highlights into my shadows like that let me just show you what's going to happen if i do that you're going to see this image is going to look all flat so let's see so this is the before and this is the after you can see this image does not have any any highlight again it's looking flat like this so before and after so to avoid that make sure you are brushing your highlight separately and make sure you are brushing your shadows separately so if you've learned anything from this video so far i really appreciate if you hit the like button so that more people can see this video and learn from this video as well so i appreciate that so moving on remember to brush your highlight separately and to brush your shadow separately and also 
try to increase and decrease your brush size according to the parts you want to retouch so if i want to retouch this part right here these shadows right here i'm just going to increase my brush size according to the shape and just brush like this on this part of the image like this and if i want to brush the highlight i'll just increase my brush size and just brush on the highlight like that so for this image let me quickly show you how i'm brushing i'll create a new layer i'll just pick my normal brush tool so i'm just going to explain something how i brush pick my normal brush tool uh, just use the black brush or rather use the white brush and then um, so you can see what we just did before and after so let me just show you i'm brushing like this for this side i'm brushing like this and for this side i'm brushing it like this why for this side i just increase my brush size like this and just brush like this for the highlight side like that why if i want to brush here as well i'm just going to take this all the way down and brush only the highlights while i'll come separately for the shadows and brush only the shadows like that so if i want to brush here again i'll brush only the highlights and brush only the shadows like that only the highlights only the shadows like that so that's how i'm using my mixer brush to retouch this image so let me just delete that and continue so make sure you are increasing and decreasing your brush size according to the place you are brushing on and to increase and decrease your brush size just click on the square bracket key on your keyboard to increase and decrease your brush size so i'm just going to be um brushing this image like this i think focus separation is the easiest and fastest method to retouch your image and also if you don't know how to use it you can get a flat image or your image will be too smooth so let me quickly give you another tip so what makes your image look good if you are using a focus separation to retouch your image it's the blur radius and also how you brush if you are brushing your highlight separately and if you are brushing your shadows separately like that so just try and mix the colors together to get a good image and remember your image don't have to be uh, too smooth to get a good image so just take your time to retouch your image and um check your before and after so these are before and these are after these are before and these are after you can see how good this image is right now before and after and if you feel you made a mistake you can just pick your eraser tool and just erase it like that so let me just quickly continue brushing uh, pick my missile brush again and i think I, I make an error here so i'm just going to fix those error here like that so if you don't have the patience to use dodge and burn make sure you are using focus separation to retouch your image if you want to learn how to use micro dodge and burn to retouch your image i have a video for that and i'll be leaving that video at the end of this video so you can go watch it so so let's quickly see the before and after this is the before and this is the after this is the before and this is the after so you can see how good this image is so this is how you use focus separation to retouch your image i hope you like this video and if you do leave a like some more people can see this video and learn from this video as well and if you want to learn how to retouch using micro dodge and burn click on this video on the screen right now so you can learn how to retouch using micro dodge and burn I'll see you guys in my next video. Stay creative.